Wow. This is the smallest man I'm going to sit in. Flying to Lukla is a dangerous thing to do. And why Tianjin Hillary Airport Lukla comes in a list of most dangerous airports in the world? Let me tell you, in 2008, an aircraft crashed while landing in Lukla killing 18 passengers on board. In 2013, a helicopter crashed killing one passenger. And there are several other crashes in which passengers and crew members were injured. And, and in 2019, yes, on April 14, 2019, the plane hit two helicopters while taking off from Lukla, killing three people. This I had not told to Gaurav. But I must say it was a roller coaster ride. I was nervous, I was scared, but it was fun. Thanks to God, we landed safely. <laughs> Lukla was once a farming community. I mean, farming still happened here, but uh, now it is mostly a crackers town with uh, numerous accommodations options and cafes and many shops selling countless things for any of your last minute purchase. After a flight, we stopped here for our breakfast and honestly, we had only vegetarian food for next 11 days in this region. Strictly avoided non-veg and alcohol. And frankly, we saved us from sickness and stomach problems. So finally we had started our uh, Mount Everest base camp track and technically today is our day one and uh, we are trekking from Lukla to Hagdink. Lukla is around uh, 2900 meters above sea level and we are going to Hagdink which is like 2600 uh, meters from uh, sea level. So basically it is at, uh, at the low height. So Gaurav, how you are you feeling now? I am feeling good and energetic. You are feeling good and energetic? Yes, yes. So, you can carry me? Yes, I can carry you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, meet Nawang Gombu Sherpa. That's Hi. perfect. He is our superman actually. And he is taking my weight, Gaurav weight and also his weight. Yeah. Which is roughly like 40 kg? Yeah, yeah um, approximately 40, 40 kg. kg. And we ourselves uh, is carrying like around 7 to 8 kg 7 to 8 kg really? yes we are carrying. experience for Lukla to Fagding was great we both were full of energies and we were excited as it was our day one and for almost one and a half hour we didn't face any problem 
as mainly it is a downhill track. In between we found some difficult patches as there we need to climb the stairs. Uh, let me introduce you with my enemy. Our enemy. Okay, now yours also? Yeah. Lots and lots of stairs. <laughs> oh god. Oh my goodness. On the way we always encountered mules and yak carrying loads of stuff. They are main mode of transportation in this region. We saw lots of Buddhist prayer wheels. I guess uh, traditional mantra Om Mani Padme Hum is written on them. And many tea houses. I must say, it is a luxurious track. Okay, we have to move to this trail and <coughs> here. That is part thing. Ready? Let me show you the back part of this trip. The in-theme toilet. Have a look. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we are on the part of a journey for which I was personally waiting for. And this is our first suspension bridge. First suspension bridge. First suspension bridge. This is our first suspension bridge. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I am feeling this is more like a dancing bridge. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! Oh boy! Gaurav! Oh this is scary Gaurav! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oxygen level is down in mountains because of altitude. Suppose in Agra where we live, oxygen level is 20.5% in air. So in Lukla it was like 14.5% and in Fagding it was like 15% in air. Of course, it hampers some walking speed. Other than that, there was no problem. Distance between Lukla to Fagding is roughly 7.5 km and it took almost 3 and a half hours to complete it. Of course, I was kind of slow. And then we reached to Fagding. At the end, Gaurav claimed it as an easy track. For me, it was like moderate one. Tea houses or lodges in this region provide you with basic necessities. A small double bedroom with light blankets and pillows. So I will suggest to carry your sleeping bag with you if you do not want to pay extra for blankets. It is cold there. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned. In next chapter, we'll take you to Namche Bazaar. Until then, have a wonderful time.